While snow is not going across much of the area, and it will spread to the east across all areas during the day today. We should see improving conditions this afternoon, though. By tonight, the snow should be a memory as the system moves off to the east. And our watches, warnings, and advisories, we added these yesterday. Basically, Thermopolis out of the north includes Buffalo, Warland, Gravel up toward uh, Lovell, Matisse, uh, Cody as well. Across uh, the northwestern mountains, still that winter storm warning in effect. And also, uh, winter weather advisories for the mountains further to the south. You want those start then times. Let's go to our website, weather.gov slash RAW. And timing out the impacts, most of us will see the worst impacts during the morning hours of gradually improving conditions in the afternoon. But further to the east, places like Casper, Buffalo, maximum impacts there are a little bit later, and they'll end a little bit later there, but all areas should see the snow come to an end, I think, by about 9 or 10 o'clock, except for some flurries up in the mountains. The other concern today is going to be wind. Most of these areas not too bad for wind, a little bit strong here across the Bighorn Basin. Now, the big concern here... It's going to be down here across uh, Sweetwater County. There will be some uh, area precipitation coming here as that trough axis passes through. And if it ra rain turns over to snow with these strong winds here, it could get a little hairy here if the temperatures get low enough. It's not a certainty down here, but you may want to watch the weather there if you have to travel on this road, I think, between about 8 o'clock and about 2 o'clock this afternoon. And our probabilistic stuff for snow, this might be a little bit low, but at least it's much more snow, at least an inch, I'd say, across much of the area to the east of the divide also the western valleys, obviously more as you head up toward the mountains. Now the likely maximum amount of additional snow we're going to get, this is not total snow, additional snow. Highest amounts we've expected them to be across the north, anywhere from about two to four inches, if uh, the maximum amount obviously basically Johnson County, Bighorn Basin, back here toward the Absorcas, about one to two anywhere from Dubois, Riverton Lander out toward the Casper area, maybe one to two inches across the I-80 corridor and around Pinedale as well. Western valleys, Anywhere from about one to three additional inches if things set up right. Obviously a lot more in the mountains, though. Our official forecast this is the most likely scenario. Another two to three inches across the north as a rule, a little bit less around Cody and Powell. About one to two across central Wyoming. Maybe around an inch across the I-80 corridor and further south. And the western valley is looking at anywhere from about one to three inches. Obviously more in the mountains. So we broke a record now, don't I? And one more thing we want to look at here. It is going to be very cold the next few days, but I think the coldest night is going to be Sunday night before we finally start warming up. Now the area is going to be the coldest. looks like the most snow from the system is going to fall across the Bighorn Basin. See lows getting very close to zero in places like Gravel and Warland on Sunday morning. Maybe getting down close to, to the uh, teens. Maybe some single digits across central Wyoming as well as here. So this will definitely be the coldest area of the year across much of the area. We should begin to see gradual warm-up as we head towards Sunday especially toward the uh, first part of next week. Be safe, everybody, and enjoy your day.